Good morning. I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research. I'm Andy Myers, and this is your morning market update for Wednesday, February 9th. Stocks on Wall Street opened lower despite another round of corporate earnings that were mostly positive. Investors seem to be taking some profits after a big recent run-up that pushed the Dow Industrials and S&P 500 to their highest levels in more than two and a half years. We may see some news out of Washington today. Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke is testifying before the House Financial Services Committee as we speak. While he's unlikely to volunteer much more than he did in a speech last week, it will be his first appearance before the new Republican House leadership. And if the title of the hearing is any indication, he'll be facing some tough questions. It's called, Can Monetary Policy Really Create Jobs? On the earnings front, Coca-Cola tops today's calendar. Coke's fourth quarter net income nearly quadrupled from a year ago, and revenue rose to $10.5 billion. The numbers were roughly in line with expectations, and Coca-Cola shares are gaining more than 2% on the news. Two other big stock winners posted their results after yesterday's closing bell. Walt Disney reported a 54% jump in its quarterly profit, thanks to an increase in home video sales and advertising revenues at its TV channels, including ABC and ESPN. Right now, Disney is jumping more than 4%. And Take-Two Interactive Software is soaring nearly 6%. The maker of video games such as Grand Theft Auto and NBA 2K11 blew away Wall Street estimates after a strong holiday shopping season. Another big stock gainer is Polo Ralph Lauren, jumping 6% in early trading. The apparel designer and retailer posted profit that was much better than analysts were expecting and raised its earnings outlook for the full year. Polo also boosted its quarterly dividend to 20 cents a share and authorized an additional $250 million stock buyback program. On the other side of the spectrum, one of the day's biggest losers is Ingersoll Rand. The industrial goods manufacturer is falling 6% after reporting weaker than expected earnings. Ingersoll Rand blamed slow construction markets and rising costs for raw materials. Meanwhile, defense contractor Northrop Grumman is moving higher following its quarterly results. And after today's closing bell, Cisco Systems, MetLife, Prudential, Allstate, and Whole Foods are all set to report. A few other stocks to keep an eye on today. Apple has reportedly begun production of a new version of its iPad tablet computer, according to the Wall Street Journal. The new version will likely include a faster processor, more memory, and a front-facing camera for video conferencing. But the display may have a resolution similar to what's available on the current model. The journal says the new iPad will be available through AT&T and Verizon Wireless. Meanwhile, software company Real Networks is cutting 130 jobs, or about 10% of its workforce, as part of a restructuring plan. That stock is losing about 1% on the news. But 3M opened higher after it announced that it's raising its first quarter dividend to 55 cents a share and authorized a new $7 billion stock buyback program. Finally, let's check in on the overseas markets. In Europe, stocks are broadly lower. A 10% jump by the London Stock Exchange is failing to lift the FTSE 100 into positive territory. The LSE is merging with Canada's TMX Group to create the world's largest stock exchange in terms of the number of companies listed and number two in the overall value of those companies behind NYSE Euronext. Meanwhile, Reuters is reporting that Axel Weber dropped out of the running to be the next president of the European Central Bank. Weber is the current chief of the German Bundesbank and was considered the front-runner to succeed Jean-Claude Trichet when his eight-year term ends in October. That's the latest from Wall Street. Have a great trading day.